answer. Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted, and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be The world awaits to receive you. All right, all right, all right. I'm coming on singing on this Sunday. Many, many blessings to everyone on this beautiful, beautiful Sunday evening. I want to first say love, light, and blessings to everyone. <clears throat> so I'm going to definitely send blessings to uh, my family, my friends, to the people who have lost someone today. Or most recently, I want to send a shout out to you guys. You know, my tone is a little bit like that, but I'm not going to keep it like that for long. I just want to definitely let the audience know that life is real. And you should put family first before emotions and actually love wholeheartedly. So that's my first introduction. I'm just going to come, come like that. Okay, so today we got an amazing lineup for you today. We got some Nicki Minaj news. We got an update what's going on with Adidas and Kanye. Now, you know, on Uncensored on YouTube, on a YouTube page, we actually did a full dedication to Kanye West and Kyrie Irving when they were going through what they were going through. Okay, and y'all know what that was basically being attacked called all types of anti-Semitic and things like that for speaking what they believe or what they know. Okay. And in the case of my husband, Kyrie Irving, he didn't even say anything. He just dropped the link and his whole career was just whoosh in the air. You know, so what that goes to say, we know what Kanye West went through specifically and how many uh, deals was pulled from Kanye West. People um, didn't want to have nothing to do with him. And his Balenciaga line was up in the air. He went back and forth with Adidas for a while um, after they allegedly dropped him with no concern for their actually business in reality. And this is why we say we shouldn't deal with emotions all the time. We should deal with reality. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it seems to put them in the bind. So we're going to start with that first. We're going to talk about uh, Kanye and Adidas because, you know, I got to uh, pay tribute to my uh, crazy Hebrew brother, Kanye. Shout out to him. Well, crazy, but it's okay. Do what you got to do to get the message out. That's all I'm saying. So this is what to you by CNN news let's see what they got to say let me see can i get the thing a little bit bigger hold on did i get it on the screen oh wait a minute y'all i did it better how about that i had it together the other day i had it together you see how i am on the screen see that oh getting better and better every day Every day he had my broadcast. Don't pay no mind to me. So now I'm facing, I'm facing the picture. All right, so let's see what they got to say. Artist formerly known as Kanye West. Several sources tell us Ye's recent anti-Semitic remarks are not a one-off, but part of his long-held obsession and his praise of Adolf Hitler. CNN's Chloe Malas is behind this new exclusive reporting and multiple sources, Chloe, I understand, are telling you that Ye's last album he wanted to. Oh, my God. This is this is a, a decoy. I thought they want to talk about the actual uh, article, but let's get into it. Adidas sued by shareholders over its Bell Ye partnership. Now you see how they put that video up like they were going to talk about the subject. They always try to do that so they could obscure the perception, okay? So they don't want people to think that Kanye West is winning right now, but I think he winning, okay, um, as far as this situation. 
So Adidas shareholders filed a class action lawsuit against the brand, accusing it of failing to warn investors about the anti-Semitic and extreme behavior exhibited by rapper former known as Kanye West before their partnership ended last year. In the lawsuit filed February, uh, Friday in federal court, shareholders alleged that Adidas routinely ignored his behavior in early 2018. They claimed that the senior executive ignored serious issues affecting the Yeezy partnership, naming his anti-Semitic remarks and troubling public comments about slavery. In a report from that year, Adidas was generally annulled to the risk rather than stating that the company had actually considered it in the partnership as a result of the West behavior, according to the lawsuit during the that time. Yes, said the slavery was a choice in the TMZ. So at that time, they felt like they should have said something. And <clears throat> um, a lot of black people, like, I don't know, like when I don't take people's words and, you know, run with it like, oh, my God, why did he say that? People say a lot of stupid things. So I, I think a lot of black people felt like that. That's why we didn't react to his comment. Slavery was a choice. We hear a lot of black people say a lot of outlandish things at this point, especially when they're in positions to have money and, you know, be public figures. So with that goes to say they the shareholders is going to use that as presidents or um evidence as well within their case to show the instability of Kanye West and how he has a history of attacking all people, not just allegedly, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I can't even really back the comment up of what they're saying he's doing because I know the history. So I know he's being um, group. He's have a group mentality, the way that he is talking about certain individuals in the industry and they don't like that they don't like when you call a whole group of other nations out but then when you say black people do this black people do that you you put us all in categories but it's okay it's okay for that mm -hmm. it's okay for that but i'm gonna just take a whole glass and say, shut the hell up so right now it seems like kanye he he's not gonna benefit anything from this lawsuit but at the end of the day he may be getting the last laugh with adidas even twice because there is an article that I found that basically says that uh, Kanye West has a facility about two doors down from the Adidas headquarters. So let's just finish read this article. The lawsuit says that Adidas was aware of his behavior and the company failed to take meaningful precaution measures to limit negative financial exposures if the partnership ended. The lawsuit does not name the rapper who now goes by Ye. Adidas, somebody must have copyrighted his name or something. Um, Chief Financial Officer Harm Olomar and former CEO are named as defendants. So it's basically uh, Adidas ownership that's involved in this. And let's see if we continue reading. The suit covers anyone who bought an Adidas share from May 3rd, 2028 to 2023. We outright reject the unfounded claims and will take all necessary measures to vigorously defend ourselves against them. This is what Adidas says on CNN. Okay. Adidas added it almost a decade long partnership in October 2022 after Yeezy wore the White Lives Matter t shirt in public. The anti defame league cat categorized the phrase as a hate slogan used by white supremacist group, including KKKK. Days later, Ye said, I can say anti-Semitic shit and Adidas can't drop me during a podcast. So he was uh, bragging and boasting, you know how he do, you know, and they, they basically said like he was, they're going to use this for their case. They're going to be like, he even said it in public that he basically had y'all by the ball. OK, and y'all was supposed to give us a warning so we can know what we wanted to do with our shares because this person was in balance. So um, right now, Adidas is holding on by a thread. And, um, you know, you know me, I had that uh, broadcast up like burn it down. You know, at the end of the day, if they don't respect us, we don't need to respect them. But obviously, you know, it's prophesied what you do to Jewish, to the Jews. 
you are cursed when you do do bad to Jews. Okay? Only people understand well, understand what I'm saying. Understand the rest of y'all gonna be like, what? Go go read the Bible. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be you. The world awaits to receive you. The real estate market often seems like a distant world where only an elite of experts is successful. In a time of so much uncertainty in the air and bad news, realist investing can seem intimidating. But today, I want to tell you that if you make the right decision today, you can enter the real estate market from the back door. Bad credit record? No credit at all. Do you dread the idea of having a home loan? Do you dream of owning investment properties? You are in the right place and right time because we have created a program which is a tax lien and deed investment online course of only 14 hours. This course is specially designed for people like you who have big dreams. You will learn at your own pace and everything from your home computer. This is your chance. Join our membership for $19.99 a year. What are you waiting for? Visit our website primetimehomebuyerbuyback.org and sign up today for course access.